In our study, the main question we aimed to answer uh, was what is the effect of different treatment types, namely medicine, surgery, or observation, on fracture outcomes in a disease called primary hyperparathyroidism? Our findings were that if people have surgery, their risk of fracture over 10 years is lower than for those people treated with observation or not managed. Uh, we also found that if people were man managed with medicines uh, called bisphosphonate drugs, their risk of having a fracture was actually a little bit higher than observation. I was very surprised by the finding that bisphosphonate medications were uh, associated with a higher risk of fracture. In fact, we initially assumed that it was some type of error. Previous research had shown that both surgery and medic medicines increase bone mineral density, at least for the short term. So we thought that that would mean that both surgery and medicine would have a beneficial effect in terms of reducing the fracture risk. However, we found that the risk uh, of fracture was divergent, meaning uh, lower in the surgery group and higher in the medicine group, uh, uh, which was unexpected. I do think it is important for uh, physicians and patients to understand the implications of our findings. Bisphosphonate medications, um, some of the most common ones are known as uh, alendronate or, or, or Fosamax. They work in reducing fractures for garden variety osteoporosis, plain old osteoporosis without an identifiable cause. I believe that our findings show um, that osteoporosis caused by primary hyperparathyroidism, that is a parathyroid tumor in your neck, that type of osteoporosis is somehow different. And, and I would like the public and physicians to know that we're really not able to say that these cla this class of medications is helpful to patients with osteoporosis caused by hyperparathyroidism. I would suggest to clinicians that before they start a medication like that for somebody on osteoporosis, check to make sure that patient doesn't have primary hyperparathyroidism as a cause. If the patient has primary hyperparathyroidism, then they should probably not be put on these medications. I'm going a little bit out on a limb by saying this because I know it's retrospective data, but it's the best data we have to date. Um, we can't say, there's, there's nothing in our data which would help us say that the bisphosphonates are beneficial in patients with primary hyperparathyroidism. So for the time being, I would say probably not give patients that for now until we do some more studies to better understand what's going on in that patient population.